There is an issue that's rampant on YouTube, the crypto side of YouTube. You might have noticed this over the past year, especially this cycle. It has been occurring a lot recently, and I wanted to discuss about this particular topic. So let's dive in. Welcome, everybody. My name is Michael, and today we're going to be discussing about a few things, but I just wanted to say I'm very excited to be starting software engineering online because if you're online, you're able to work full time and you're able to work on your time. With software engineering, it's one of the easier routes. The course itself is obviously very difficult, but it's one of the easier routes to put everything online because you're working with a computer. There are certain courses where you have to do something physically. I mean, it's impossible. But software engineering, programming, all of that, you're able to do from the comfort of your laptop and as long as you have a decent internet connection, which we do not, but that will be resolved for August. So I'm super excited to hopefully be able to share my knowledge with you guys in the future. And obviously, if I learn anything related to programming, hopefully I'm able to get decent at it. You know, I'm probably not gonna be great at it, but get decent at it and inform you guys if I would go down the route. I have no idea if I'm even gonna like it, but if I am going to like it, and turns out that my math skills are all right, because for cryptocurrency, you need to have great math skills. Encryption is gonna be very, very, very difficult and complex, but if that's something that in the future, in a few years, I'd get decent at, I'd love to share my knowledge with you guys and hopefully help out uh, making videos. I'm tired of these channels that have zero expertise discussing about cryptocurrency, and that's fine as long as you're honest about it. But if you try and portray that you're an expert, even though you aren't an expert, and people will see that just the way you talk about certain topics, maybe in a few videos they might not realize it, but once you start watching an individual for a longer period of time, you're gonna realize, oh my God, this guy is way behind or he is completely wrong on this particular topic. That's right. So today we're discussing about YouTubers who unfortunately, uh, I don't know, I don't know why they're at the very top. I, I do know why actually. It's because of their marketing skills. They're fantastic entertainers. They're really good marketers, even salesmen. But are they experts with cryptocurrency? I doubt it. We're not going to be naming any names. This epidemic is related to YouTubers who are mainly marketers and entertainers and hype men and not actual experts who you can listen to for sound investment advice, especially when it comes to your finances. When you are spending your hard-earned money, there's some YouTubers that aren't really putting a good image on the rest of the cryptocurrency community. And there's a lot of new crypto YouTube channels that have just spruced up and they're just in it for the money. They may not necessarily care about cryptocurrency. And in that regards, they may not care about YouTube you because they're going to be promoting their buy bit marginal trading courses and they're going to make you lose your money when they pump and dump on you they give you terrible advice you're going to lose your money and even in a bad cryptocurrency time even when the markets turn bearish they're still going to make their money why because most of their income is generated through commissions affiliates and through sponsorships and they might be promoting terrible scams even straight up illegal products and services sometimes, and they won't care. Now, obviously this isn't about everybody, but uh, if we look back in 2017, this has been going on for a while in cryptocurrency, except this year it's even more rampant than back then. And if we remember the BitConnect crowd, you might be wondering, well, why are you discussing about something that's illegal and scams? Because there have been YouTubers before that had their entire channels revolving around selling a scam. And there's still going to be people who argue against me and they're like, oh, BitConnect wasn't a scam. RegalCoin wasn't a scam. Lives are online. Yeah, totally, dude. Dude. Oh, control finance, one coin. There's so many projects that it's just tough to list them out. There's thousands and thousands of them. So many HYAPs, and there's a bunch of these channels that are still around today, some of them. Others from the BitConnect crowd, I mean, see a goodbye, Craig Grant and Nick. He removed his crypto Nick. He removed his channel. This was a long time ago. The only one that's still around is Trevon James, and there's still a bunch of people who are in support of him. Listen, whether he is guilty or not, only he himself knows because obviously. Obviously, if he's not in jail right now, 
even though he was charged and even though he had to show up in court, there had to be something. So maybe he wasn't fully guilty, but we don't know all the details. I can't be the judge of that. I do know that he was promoting a scam, though. So whether he himself was a victim of the BitConnect promoters, the main people running the organization, I mean, we do know that Trevon James is definitely not someone who is working at BitConnect. He was working for them in a partnership sense, in a third-party sense, a, commi a commission affiliate a marketer, but that's as far as it goes. Obviously, there's going to be people who will lose all respect for YouTubers like that, but there's still a fairly large crowd that follows him, and he promoted other similar projects. So I guess it depends on the viewer, but there's also a lot of people that are new to cryptocurrency. There's a bunch of channels that popped up, and some of them are the most popular cryptocurrency YouTube channels. There are actual experts right now, and one of them I can share with you. This is the only one that I'm going to share. There's a few few cryptocurrency YouTubers that I really enjoy, and one of them is Mr. Antonopoulos. He's an author of the Bitcoin and Ethereum, and he actually had a bunch of pretty good cryptocurrency-related books and uh, programming-related books in terms of blockchain and how do you code with it. He is an actual expert. He knows what he's talking about. He was an early investor, an early promoter of Bitcoin, but someone who wasn't promoting it in the sense like these marketers were. He was discussing about it thoroughly. He wanted to work with it. He comes from the programming background and these early experts on cryptocurrency are mainly programmers, coders, investors who invested early and made millions of dollars. People who believed in it from the get-go. And obviously if you're someone who invested in Bitcoin in 2012, you're going to have a lot more knowledge about it than someone who just invested in 2020 and you wanted to make a cryptocurrency YouTube channel because you see that everyone else is making millions off of Bybit promotions. And we're going to make a video, a separate video about that. I promised it a while ago. We're finally making one uh, about why all of these margin trading courses and these margin trading tutorial videos aren't what they really seem to be. They're not illegal, they're not scams, but it is a interesting topic of how these YouTubers aren't making their millions from uh, the actual YouTube views. They're making hundreds of thousands of dollars, which is still a lot. Some of them may end up making millions of dollars, but most of this money is coming from commission and affiliate-based products. And some of these products, well, unfortunately, there is so much risk involved that the average cryptocurrency investor has no idea what they're doing. They get into it, they lose their money, and they might even go into debt. That's how bad it gets with margin trade. So it's super high risk. The other risky side is if a company promotes through a YouTuber and it turns out to be a shady company or a scam, you might lose 100% of your money, you know, a rug pull, an exit scam. You might have others who have no idea what they're talking about and they're promoting these DeFi projects. And even if they're not getting paid for it, they may not admit their mistakes. They may not admit how much research they fully did. And they might be promoting something that could end up, maybe it's not a scam, but the developer had no idea what they're doing. The money gets locked up, it's frozen, see it's lost into ether space. Everyone who is following these YouTubers' advice lost their money. And there's going to be a lot of people who are saying, well, listen, who's following these people? Well, there's a lot of young kids in cryptocurrency now. There's a lot of young teens. And when I was a teenager, sure, I had one good year where I made over 100 grand and then I lost it all the next year. And that has followed me for the next following years. I'm now 23, turning 24 years old in January. I'm getting older and I guess a little bit more mature. And I realized that I made a lot of mistakes that were super important and they really slowed my progress down. And I don't want these young teenagers to have consequences that sometimes might be lifetime permanent stuff. I mean, there was some horrible cases that I read about, horrible news stories. Some people can't take the stress and if they lose all their money, it's like that uh, one kid from Naperville who lost her money in trading through Robinhood. They didn't fully understand and it showed like they were minus seven hundred, eight hundred thousand dollars $800,000 and the end of the news story was that he ended his life. So it can get dangerous. 
The epidemic is that there's many of these crypto YouTubers who have zero skills, zero expertise. They are just making these channels and based off of clickbait thumbnails, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Since I can't show any examples because I don't want to name any names, all you have to do is type in cryptocurrency and notice how I haven't really been making thumbnails on every video yeah, something like that where I'm making these faces like I'd be uh, taking a dump or the ones that you see on the adult content websites where it's like you're staring at something, you know, you know the ads and the thumbnails that I'm talking about. I mean, these are total clickbait thumbnails, total clickbait titles. It's like make $10,000 per month and then boom, they show you an account that has like $2 million in it and they're like, yeah, it's so easy to make 10 grand a month. Yeah, no duh, because you have over a million, two million bucks in just one account. You might have 10 million somewhere else. And I love how these these big YouTubers are constantly making videos. I lost 100 grand. I made 500,000. Oh my God, best investment ever. This project is going up 100x. That one's going up 1,000. Yeah, it's easy to say that you lost 100 grand and you made 100 grand if your portfolio, again, is in the millions of dollars. You're going to have that every single day because it's so volatile in cryptocurrency. Am I angry at these YouTubers? No. You know why? Because I was one of them myself. And look where I ended up. Obviously, I made some really silly decisions. I had one week where I invested in so many crap coin projects that I lost an amount between 50 and $70,000 in a single week. And that was my ultimate downfall. And then, yeah, I had some other bad habits and I made plenty of smaller mistakes that all piled up to losses of uh, between $100,000 to $150,000 within a matter of a few months, which is absolutely insane for a 19 year old kid. And I've been paying that back ever since through blood, sweat, and tears. And a lot of money, a lot of money has been going through and charge off accounts and bad credit and all of this stuff. We're fixing my life though. And it's not just the viewers that I'm concerned about. I know that some of these people, just as I was communicating with a lot of crypto YouTubers in 2017, I know that some of these people are also going through bad times. When the market crashes, it's not just these YouTubers' portfolios going down a little bit. It's not the viewers who portfolio has also gone down in the trash, but it's the companies who go bankrupt. And suddenly you have plenty of companies that aren't paying the same rates or they just stop paying entirely. You're going to have scams. You have more exit scams when the market turns a little bearish. That's why you've had a lot of them recently. And when the main source of income dries up and your portfolio goes down the drain and you upgraded your lifestyle, you're living the high life, flying private jets, you got yachts, you got those Lambos, that's when you start selling off everything you own, literally, and you're going to be living under a bridge soon. So I'm also concerned about some of these YouTubers' lifestyles. I know that some of them have millions of dollars, but even if you have a $100 million, look at all of these cases of these young money types that have made millions, so much money that thousands of people in their lifetimes will never see that amount ever. You combine thousands of them, you have so many of these sports professionals, so many of these celebrities that have made hundreds of millions of dollars and they lost it all within a 10 year period or even sooner. And you have so many of these big lotto winners, these lottery winners who make a 200 million and boom, before you know it, they're uh, broke, they gave out all their money. They're going through a really rough time mentally and physically, and some of them end up even dead. So what am I going at here? This is a PSA, I guess, to the YouTubers out there that are in cryptocurrency and also the influencers outside in Twitter and Instagram and all this. There's obviously the Forex and cryptocurrency traders, scammers out there. And this isn't talking about those types, but to the marketers of the world, to the entertainers, if you have no idea what you're doing, just like I had no idea what I was doing and I got really lucky and then I got unlucky, or you could say I, I, made, I made many mistakes. I wasn't the smartest person, obviously, in 2018. You're going to have a great year, followed by the worst year of your life. And there's going to be so many bad consequences that I hope you're prepared and I hope you have retirement accounts and everything paid off and you have a 10-year plan prepared for yourself financially so you're able to weather the storms. Because sometimes crypto winters, just like the previous one, can last one, two, three years before 
you start seeing your portfolios go up. But if you invest in the wrong projects, you're never going to see them go up. There's still projects that I invested in 2017 that they're worthless. Some of these projects don't exist. And some of these exchanges even themselves, the exchanges have gone bankrupt. They don't exist or they exit scammed. To the experts of the world, if you are an expert in cryptocurrency, you're a programmer, you're somebody who fully, deeply understands what's going on behind the scenes, you will always make money with a YouTube channel. You may not make as much as the marketers who are selling these promotions, that the get-rich-quick types, but you're always going to be rich and... You're always going to have income coming in from somewhere because people will realize the really wealthy people, the millionaires and billionaires of the world, they may want your expertise. They will pay you top dollar for the knowledge that's sitting in your head. So whether this is cryptocurrency or any industry, any niche out there, the Antonopolis types of the world will always be financially successful on YouTube and outside of YouTube, as long as you know they're not <laughs> splurging all their money. To the marketers out there, it may just be a short-term thing. It may be a firework that blows up and you're super pumped and excited, and then before you know it, you need to go on to the next firework, and you're burning bridges behind yourself, and you constantly need to change, make new channels, or promote different projects, or, oh no, your reputation's falling down, and people won't really want to follow you anymore. There's this burnout that happens, so don't go down that path. Uh, you know, I'm no expert. I have no idea what I'm doing sometimes, but I'm honest about that with you guys, and hopefully you're able to respect that and and that's cool and if you enjoy that you know that's the end of the today's video i have no idea where this channel is going to be in a year or two but i don't want to go down the path of the kuber now that this is a personal channel we're discussing about cryptocurrency cryptocurrency is my life i love cryptocurrency i want to learn more about it that's why i want to be hopefully a programmer in the future and hopefully i'm able to share i don't i'm not an expert right now but maybe in the future i will be and i'd love to share my info with you guys don't get stuck in something that's temporary. Think about what's going to happen in the next 10, 20, 30 years. Cryptocurrency, it may not be in its early stages, but it's still not too late to obviously invest and be a part of this great movement. And if you get a pretty valuable skill set, you will never be poor. So if you want to work with cryptocurrency, whether it is in the corporate world, you want to make your own projects, you want to market it, maybe you want to be a crypto YouTuber, understand that always have a backup plan. Crypto YouTube may not be the job that you'll get. It's a lot of people's dreams, obviously, to make money just from YouTube. But most likely, you will be able to monetize your channel, and that's going to help. And if you create a company, if you have a product or service that's actually valuable to sell, or if you have expertise and you're able to consult other people, you will be able to make even potentially six, seven figures. And if not, you can always work for cryptocurrency companies. So that's today's video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, follow me for more content. I went to T-Mobile today. Wasn't able to get a booster. Don't have a prepaid plan. Got my SIM replaced. Internet still sucks. I'm working on it, though. Hopefully, we're able to get that fixed. And in the meantime, I'm still going to be uploading every single day. But uh, if I get better internet, we might get to two uploads per day. Have a great one. Bye.